consider the square of a binomial such as y plus 3 the quantity squared. This can be expressed as y plus 3 times y plus 3 and we'll use the FOIL method to simplify this. First terms multiplied together gives us y to the power of 2. Outside multiplied together 3y inside multiplied together 3 times y and last terms multiplied together positive 3 times positive 3 is 9. Simplifying gives us y squared plus 6y plus 9. Because the product occurs so often, there's a faster method that has been developed. And if we look at a pattern here, the first term squared is the first term that we have here. The last term squared is our last term in our binomial. And if you multiply these two terms together, the first and second term in your binomial, double them, which means we're going to multiply them by two, we end up with the middle term. This is known as the square of a binomial, or sometimes the perfect square trinomials. The square of a binomial, a plus b squared, is the square of the first term, a squared is a squared, plus twice the product of the two terms. Multiplying a times b, we get ab, and doubling that results in 2ab plus the square of the last term, b squared is B squared. Here we have a binomial squared with a minus sign in it, but the procedure is still the same for our shortcut. The result will be the square of the first term plus twice the product of the two terms. We have a positive A times a negative B is going to be a negative AB times by 2 is negative 2ab plus the square of the last term. Negative b times negative b is a positive b squared. We can use that shortcut then in lieu of writing out this binomial times itself and using the FOIL method. So method one, go ahead and use the FOIL method or recognizing that this is a square of a binomial or a perfect square trinomial, we can use our shortcut which is square the first term. So we're going to take 3x squared. 3x squared is squaring the first term which is 9, squaring the variable x squared to the power 2 is x to the fourth power. Our middle term is the result of multiplying the two together, the first and the second term together, which we have a positive times a negative will be a negative, and doubling that result. 3x squared times 5 is 15x squared, but doubled results in 30x squared. And our last term is the square of the second term. Negative 5 times negative 5 is positive 25. We would see the same result if we went through first terms multiplied together, 3 x squared times 3x squared is 9x to the fourth. Outside terms, we have a 3x squared times negative 5 is a negative 15x squared. Inner, negative 5 times 3x squared is another negative 15x squared. There's the negative 30x squared. And last terms multiplied together, negative 5 times negative 5 is positive 25.
you make the decision. Foil it or the shortcut for a perfect square trinomial.